Yeah, look, we, we found the Australian market is uh, relatively larger for OTC products. Um, one would expect, I guess, on population that it could be five times greater. However, in practice, we found it's more like 10 times greater. Um, we think the reason is probably because the PBS is less likely to fund low-cost OTC medicines, whereas in New Zealand there are a lot of low-cost OTC medicines are funded on the pharmaceutical schedule, like calcium tablets or paracetamol tablets or plain ibuprofen tablets, whereas in Australia generally the approach of the PBS has been not to fund those medicines and to look more towards funding high price, say, cancer medicines and things like that. That definitely seems to make a difference um, business-wise anyway. Yeah, look, I think some of the advantages are that uh, we can be more nimble and quicker. Um, with R&D and ideas, you can develop them probably more quickly as well. We don't have so many layers of management or headquarters overseas to um, to have to pass things to. So we can make our decisions locally uh, and we can move quickly. So yeah, I think that's actually quite an advantage um, and it's one that we certainly use and one that we don't want to lose going forwards um, as we grow bigger.